So what I am is like, I'm an expressionist, you know, I'm in all the museums, I'm a painter, I love to draw. That is pop artist icon Peter Max. He was on Good Day New York back in 2013. He's widely known for his psychedelic work that captivated many in the 60s. He continues to be cherished to this day. But in the past few years, the artist has battled advanced dementia. And it's not just health problems that he's facing. In 2016, he was placed under a court-appointed guardianship. His loved ones are pleading for Peter to be set free, claiming that he is being isolated and drained financially by his guardian. His guardian has declined to comment on the situation, but his family friends are now speaking out. Joining us right now is Peter Max's daughter, Libra Max. Nice to meet you. So nice to see and you. And longtime friend Edward Tricomi, who Hi I guys. know over the years. Yeah. Okay, Libra, take us through this because I don't understand this. Are you not allowed to see your dad? I'm allowed to see my father on a park bench for one hour, three times a week. I'm not allowed to go to my childhood home. No one, Edward, a friend of 45 years, no one's been to my father's home in two and a half years. Why? Because isolation enables financial exploitation, and that's the simple answer. You can't financially exploit somebody if there's oversight, if there's family uh, watching or friends watching. And talk to us about the current guardian. It's Barbara Listener. She took over for the guardianship when the previous point appointed guardian resigned. So during that process, this person stepped in saying there was no one else that wanted to do the job? No, what happened was my father was put into a guardianship in 2015-16. Um, when there are ethical people stepping into that role, the system yeah. works. Mm -hmm. She resigned in 2019 and Barbara Listner came in and when somebody who is not ethical, um, doesn't have the right motives, steps in, there's no oversight. Okay, so we want to make sure that, you know, we, we, we did try to put a, a phone call to the, you know, the guardianship people and waiting to hear back, mm -hmm. but they've gone on the record before and, you know, whatever, they, have, they see things differently. In, in terms of them seeing things differently, though, you're looking at a big picture of this and you're saying, how is this possible? Why can't you go to a judge and say, this is a situation, which I'm sure you're, you're doing, and is that process just not working for you? Who's failing who in this situation? So with the help of Edward and my father's uh, other lifelong friends and our other family members, we have been in court since 2019 trying to remove this guardian from my father's life. Um, in 2019, when she came on, the very first day she took away his phone, she wouldn't let Edward or anyone else see him for 10 months. I had to get a court order just so Edward and other friends could speak cool. on the phone with him. Um, they took away his cats. And, you know, my father is an immigrant to this country. He's self-made. He escaped the Holocaust. He's one of the most family-oriented and social people. It is truly torture to ha to be socially isolated at 84. Edward, this doesn't make sense to me. I mean, obviously, he has some health issues. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, you're a good friend. You get nothing out of this except no. friendship. Right. You're not looking for any money. No, no. There's nothing to do with money. So, what's your take on this? This is legal kidnapping. It's legal kidnapping. That's the, that's the way I look at it. Peter and I have been friends for 40 years, more than 40 years, actually. And one of the things that Peter used to do with me all the time is to bribe me. Come over, I'll give you a cappuccino and some chocolate cake. <laughs> Help him paint. And when we would paint, he would make some paintings that would go to sell and some paintings that were for the family, for their, for their inheritance. And Peter and I used to do this all the time. We were really, really good friends. Since he's been in this guardianship, I can't see him. It's ridiculous. And does he even own any of his paintings anymore? Well, we have our family business, which he started in 2000. That is who, you know, he started that company. So that's who commercializes his art. Um, but they have just helped their sel themselves to their his bank account. So meanwhile, the bank account is depleting yes. right. with this, this guardianship. Right. And do you have any idea where it is right now? Well, we do have, again, my motivation is not money. I'm not getting any money for doing this. I just want to be with my father at the end of his life. He's 84. Right. He, I saw him yesterday on a park bench for one hour. He's under 100 pounds. He needs to be in the care of his family and friends. We don't know anything about his health. 
we don't know anything. We're completely blocked out of his life. And he has begged for two and a half years. We submitted right. again. He's even tell, told me on the phone, Can, why don't you come and see me? I said, I want to come and see you, but I didn't want to tell him I can't come and see you. L Libra, I do you, want you know, to ask you, though, go through that one, we, we see this play out, you know, in the Britney Spears case mm -hmm. and whatnot. Right. Um, for a judge to rule someone incompetent, it's a pretty high hurdle um, for them to do that. I know your father is dealing with advanced dementia, so mm -hmm. for a judge to say he cannot make these decisions on his own, you guys are asking for the conservatorship to end completely, correct? And your brother is saying I don't want that to happen so so as a family how do you decide this when you and your brother are at, are at ends and you're dealing with someone who cannot maybe make these mental decisions that he needs to do so my father actually doesn't have advanced dementia he certainly knows his friends he certainly knows who he wants to see when Edward and all of our other family mm -hmm. members and friends speak to him on the phone he knows everyone he invites everyone to the house but is he able to manage his estate by himself no but just as every other aging parent adult children make those decisions and yeah. that's the that's what my father had put in place why is your brother not on board with this you know I can't speak to my uh, for my brother but I will say it's really not about my wants and wishes and it's not about my brother's wants and wishes it's about my father's constitutional and human rights this is a human rights violation it's actually human trafficking uh, I know that sounds extreme but my father, in word and deed throughout his life, has said he wants his family around him. Who wouldn't? Who yeah. wouldn't, Edward? So what can people do? Because, you know, there was that free Britney Spears movement. I see there's a free Peter Max oh, movement yeah, going on. So what can we do? Who's the judge in this? Why isn't this judge taking a, a, you know, a second look, a third look at this? You, I mean, I, I can answer this a little bit because I've watched an incredible film. What was the name of the film that you sent me? The Guardians. The Guardians. It's a great film. I recommend everybody look at this film because it gives you a real insight of what's going on in, in these guardianships. Key thing here would be that Pete, 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 Peter really wants to see his family, really wants to be out. The, the motivation of these people is money. They're not, she's not motivated by it. She's going to get everything anyway. It's in the will. It's that way. Because I know Peter, when I would do the paint, that's why I told you the story about the yeah. cake and all that. Yeah. Peter would always set aside for his children. So that's not what it's about. It's truly about them making money off of this. Mm. And the judges are motivated that way because they get... They get kickbacks? Kick sure. Come on. Mm. You're oh, saying no, the judge I, in this I, one you, is you, getting you, a kickback? Who's the judge? No, we can't say this particular judge is, but what Well, I'm the judge needs to take another look at this. Yeah, yeah. this so true. we actually have a new judge. <coughs> um, <laughs> You know, not all judges in the system are, are or corrupt. corrupt. Right, right. Absolutely. I have my opinion about what has happened in the past when we've tried to have this guardian removed. You know, his family and friends are forever. There's nothing special about this woman. She's a lawyer. She has no medical training, no geriatric training. She's a stranger to the family. And yet, How much is she making, Libra, a year? Well, she put in a fee application for $600,000 wow. for one year, whereas wow. the prior guardians who worked for almost four years put in about $50,000. Gotcha. Wow. So All right, listen, okay. this yeah, is a, so a, a, a five-hour show. Yes. Right. I, I exactly. mean, we could go on and on, and, but hopefully somebody's watching today. Well, what we really need is we need government officials to truly stand up for this issue. Somebody, somebody needs to be a hero because there are 1.3 million people under guardianship and conservatorship in this country mm -hmm. there's 50 billion dollars yeah. under the care of conservatorships and guardianships and when you can um, be appointed to care for a vulnerable vulnerable person but mm -hmm. you also have access to their bank account that's ripe for exploitation of they can sell their homes they can, they can legally do almost I know, anything it's outrageous. It's crazy. i've seen this all right edward you call me so nice, nice to see you, you again Libra, so nice to meet you you look like your dad oh i do oh. thank you, <laughs> thank you. anyway mm -hmm. all the best and yeah. everyone can go to freepetermax.com and there's information about how to help thank, thank you guys you. for being here thank thanks you so guys much. all right appreciate it.